Taiwan Semi securing more than $6 billion from the Biden administration, total of more than $11 billion when it count the loans. Uh, with, they, they're ramping up U.S. Uh, chip production with three factories in Arizona. People, this is really important because these are the chips that we wanted and we needed. So U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo joins us now. Uh, Madam Secretary, can you explain how important two nanometers is and why this is about security for the United States? Yeah, good morning. Thanks for having me. This is huge, Jim. You and I have talked about this a lot. This will be the first time in a very long time that we'll be making these leading edge chips in America. To AI, you guys were just talking about artificial intelligence. AI runs on two nanometer. Right now, uh, the U.S. makes zero percent of these leading edge chips in America. And TSMC is saying that they're going to start making this in America at scale. So it's good for our economy, but quite frankly, it's good for our national security. Because you can't be a great nation if you buy all of your leading edge chips from one company in another country, in this case, Taiwan. Do you expect that a company like AMD or NVIDIA would only use this foundry instead of just relying on Taiwan Semi in Taiwan? Uh, it's a little hard to hear, Jim. I think, you know, TSMC is the leader in this manufacturing. And I, you know, AMD, NVIDIA, Apple are some of their biggest customers. But the important thing here, I think, is AI is a game changer. The, the demand for chips, uh, not just from TSMC, from Intel, from Samsung, is going to go through the roof. And now more than ever, we need this produced in the United States. Okay, uh, one last question before I turn it over to my colleagues. There is uh, some criticism of uh, this policy we have of, of so-called anointing uh, different parts of, uh, of tech. Could you please tell people that you have, I, mean, I looked at your team, you know I've met your team. Your team is the foremost team of people in America to be able to judge financially what's the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. The team, I have a team of rock stars who work seven days a week, former very senior people from the top private equity and investment banks and VC firms in the in the world, frankly. We have folks who come straight out of industry, economists who come out of industry, engineers, project managers. Uh, so I have full confidence in my team. But, you know, you mentioned we are you know, giving the company just over six and a half billion. They are investing more than 65 billion. So our money is a small fraction of their investment, not to mention, Jim, a dozen suppliers are coming from Asia to the United States to service TSMC. So we're building a whole cluster of this supply chain, and chips are unique. Chips are the building blocks of everything digital and AI, and we need to make it in our country. Secretary Romano, it's, uh, it's David Faber. I had the uh, opportunity to pass by the plant not long ago. It's an enormous project, obviously, already underway, at least some of the fabs. Sorry for the uh, background noise here. Um, but I wonder, it's been delayed. You know, there had been complaints from TSMC in the past in terms of a lack of potential engineers and the like. How much of that is a concern for you overall in terms of what you're trying to accomplish here? having enough of the actual experts on the ground in the U.S. to be able to get it done. You know, what TSMC is doing here is pathbreaking. You know, it's a scale that they've never invested in the United States before. So obviously, it's, it's, you have to assume there'll be some challenges. That being said, these projects are on time. Uh, we expect them to be producing at scale two and three nanometer in the coming years. We know talent is the rate limiting factor for faster growth. By the way, that's not just for TSMC, that's for every tech company. Everyone you guys talk to probably tells you this country has to produce more engineers, you know, more cybersecurity technicians, more material scientists, and we will do that. Uh, we at the Commerce Department are standing up a uh, semiconductor Technology Center, and a huge portion of that is focused on talent development, working with colleges, universities, community colleges, high schools. Talent is the name of the game. The more we produce, the faster we can go.
Secretary Raimondo, just a, a, one follow-up from me uh, on a broader question about AI. Obviously, as you said, a lot of this is being done to make sure we continue to be a leader in producing the chips that then uh, power the data centers for things like generative AI. But I am curious as to how much of a threat you view it as. Jamie Dimon talking about it recently, Japan, some headlines out of that country as well in terms of its societal impact being a very negative one. Where do you come down in terms of the guardrails, especially given your ongoing conversation with so much of corporate America? Listen, the threats and risks are very real. And so the challenge is we have to harness the benefit, which are, which are incredible, especially if you think about drug discovery, drug delivery, you know, AI is applied to healthcare and education. Very exciting. But we have to keep a lid on the risks. I've just stood up at the Commerce Department uh, under the president's leadership, an AI safety institute focused totally on safety. Uh, look, with AI, we cannot go fast and break things. Cannot. We have to go fast and make sure we have the protections in place. Because when you apply AI to, for example, uh, uh, you know, bioterrorism, it, the, it's, a, it's a level of risk we haven't seen before. So it's a balance. It's a balance. We have to be as focused on the danger and the downside uh, as we are on the upside. Madam Secretary, I am all in on this program, and you know that. I have my first uh, trepidation, which is when I heard that Pat Gelsinger at Intel is uh, $8 billion over, I thought, well, I hope that the secretary is monitoring their balance sheet because that is no longer an ex uh, what I think is an acceptable risk for your program. Uh, I hear you. I hear you. That being said, Intel is America's champion semiconductor company, uh, and we are backing that company. We're backing Pat. Uh, it, as you well know, you know, it's a, it's a turnaround. He's executing on it, and we've got confidence in him, and that's why we put, you know, so much money into the company. That being said, we've partnered with them. It's like any partnership, Jim. Of course, we watch them. We want to hold them accountable, but most of all, we're in it to win it with them. All right, that's good. I, my concern is, is duly noted, and you know I think this program is so brilliant. Don't want anybody to hurt it. Uh, Madam Secretary, thank you so much. Thank you, guys.